What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are back in the docks and we're going to be building this awesome little diagonal house just over in the corner here. Now I absolutely love the way this one has turned out, it's very simple to build and it doesn't require too many resources either and it fits so nicely into this little corner here. So we're going to dive straight in and get started with this one and today guys I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be giving you a materials list for everything we're going to be using in this build. So I'm going to throw it up on screen now so be sure to pause the video if you need to so that you can jot down and take note of everything you're going to need. Alright guys and with that being said let's get building. Okay guys, this build should fit in a 13 by 11 block space and as you can see we've got our yellow walls that are 3 blocks, our green walls that are 4 blocks and our blue walls that are 5 blocks. And as you can see the build itself has a slight diagonal on it. Now with that being said guys, let's go ahead and get building. Okay, once everything's all cleared out of the way guys, we're going to come straight over to the corner here. We're going to start from the left hand side. And we're going to place one, two, three, four cobblestone like this. Go diagonally back one and place another three. Diagonally back and place three. Diagonally back and place a three. Then behind this, we're going to place five more. So one, two, three, four, five. From the corner here, we're going to place one, two, three. Diagonally down, one, two, three. Diagonally down, one, two, three. Diagonally down, one, two, three, four. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, like so. Now, we're going to go ahead and raise this so it is four blocks high. So we're going to place three more on top, okay, just like this, and do it all the way around. Okay, once you're done, we're going to go ahead and just quickly break out some windows. So starting from the left here where we started, on the very bottom, go one, two, three across, then go up one and break these two. Then onto this little bit of wall here, we're going to go to the middle one, go up one, break these two, and then these two. On the next wall here, just break these two in the middle, and then this one here, these two in the middle. Now if we go around to the back of the build, we're going to do these two in the middle here for this piece of wall, and then leave this piece of wall and this piece, and on this corner here, you want to come one in, break this one here, which lines up directly with the window at the front. Now, once you've done that, it's probably a good idea to go inside here and start placing in a floor of your choice. You can go ahead and use spruce planks in here, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use the dark planks like this and just place in a flooring at this level. Okay, now you've got all of your windows in place. We're going to start over on this corner here and we're going to place a dark oak log here. Place two logs here. One log on the corner, two logs down. One log on the corner, two logs down one log on the corner and then three logs down to join into this wall then from this one we're going to actually go directly across so one two three four five place one up on that corner then go one two three one on this corner one two one on this corner one two one on this corner one place one sticking up there and then bring it all the way across and join to this side here now go ahead and get your dark oak stairs and we're going to go to the corner here, place an upside down one there, leave a one block gap, place one there. One on this corner, one block gap, one there. This corner, one here. This corner, one block gap, one here. Then get your stone bricks and in this very corner here, we're just going to bring five stone bricks up to the top there like that. Now get your dark oak slabs and place one inside these gaps here at the very top part of the block. Then if we head round to the back of the build, we're basically going to repeat what we've done. So two stairs, two stairs, two stairs, one stair here. Now if you ain't got the balcony here, if you're building it somewhere else, go ahead and place a another upside down stair here. Um, we're going to just, you know what, we'll, we'll put one there for the moment. Let's place an upside down stair there. Then we're going to put a slab there, a dark oak slab there, and then one in each of these gaps here. Okay. So now we're going to start working on the next floor and for this one we're going to start with our dark oak logs. Where we have the, um, the pillar here with the stone bricks, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty
four and break that stair there and five okay then we're going to place another one here on this corner five high again and there's going to be a two block gap now we're going to skip from this corner to this corner and then again we're going to go five high from that corner to this corner and five blocks high and then finally over to this corner five blocks high for this side here it's going to be exactly the same so let's go ahead and start from this corner here and we're going to go five up then we're going to go five up here again leaving a two block gap then we're going to come over to this corner here five blocks up this one here five blocks up and then this one here five blocks up and then what we're going to do when we come down here we're going to break this one break this one and face them sideways like this okay and then we're going to go right to the middle block which i believe is this one here we should have three blocks here and three blocks here and we're going to raise that one to five blocks as well okay starting over at this corner we're going to start by putting in two stripped spruce wood here and we're going to raise it until it is four blocks high and at the very top we're going to put two logs and we're going to do that in between all of these gaps okay including the gaps at the side here that are three wide okay so let's go ahead and just fill these all in with the spruce wood first okay once you got that all in guys remember to go ahead and put in your dark oak logs across the tops of these little sections here okay now we're going to come over to the front here and we're going to start by placing in a little lip all the way around the edge here like this okay so basically just following at the width of the walls so we've got three in front of here stepping out three and then three and then four and do the same around the back here so again we're going to go one two three one two three one two three one two and if you haven't got the balcony here and on a different build or something then make sure you connect it all the way to the wall now back to the front here guys let's go ahead and break some windows out so we're going to start by breaking one two right there and then we're going to go two two and two then round to this side here and we're basically going to do the same thing again so we're going to go two 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 and two okay all the way across creating a nice bit of shape here now go ahead and grab the glass panes of your choice for this build i use the white glass panes but you can use any ones that you want to guys it doesn't really matter any ones will do the job and you just want to go ahead and fill your windows in at the top here like this all the way around and then you also want to make sure that you fill in your windows at the bottom here now down the bottom here where you have this two block gap gap this is going to be a door so ignore that one and just fill the two block high single windows right okay now before we get the roof in let's work on our little entrance way down here so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to get cobblestone for now but you guys can mix this up as you go along so you could put some four blocks like this so that's four across and then one at the back here just to extend this little section here and then if you wanted to go ahead and mix in some other ones like um, i'm going to use some stone bricks uh, maybe a polished andesite and maybe even a couple of stone bricks like uh, stone blocks like this and then we're going to just basically wrap some around so start from the four block here maybe do something like that make it look a little random um maybe that and then boom and boom and that should do and if you wanted to you could put one in that corner there just to blend it in with the wall a little bit better but i think that looks pretty good okay let's go ahead and just quickly come to the inside down here and we're going to put in a couple of doors so let's go ahead and get some spruce wood doors and i think we actually have to place these from the outside like so okay right so that's the lower level all in place now again here guys you might want to go ahead and get in the next floor in here now the flooring is going to be on this level here where the beams are so go ahead and fill all of this in with a flooring of your choice i'm going to do it with the dark oak uh, planks but you guys can use any blocks of your choice it really doesn't matter okay once your flooring is down make sure that you go ahead and don't forget your back windows here like i did make sure you go ahead and put all of them in place as well okay now we're going to start working on the roof and the roof is actually pretty simple all you're going to do is where you got the bend coming downwards over this way we're going to face towards the pillars here and ignoring this one on the very end we're going to place a normal dark oak stair here like this and this end as well 
and then just bring one two three over like this don't join them like this on the corners keep it like that okay and then go one two again leaving it there one two one two and three on this side and then place an upside down stair at the back around this side here just do the same thing but this is going to be reversed we're going to face this way so we're going to face towards the logs like this place in a stair like so we can break that stair there it doesn't matter and then we're going to put in our dark oak stairs across here all the way across and overhang by one with an upside down one behind it now the pattern here guys is pretty simple but a lot of people do get very confused with the diagonal roofs so where we've got this curved stair here that is going to be curved all the way up so basically you're going to go like this go one place one there one over one there one over and then we'll leave it because i think that'd be the middle of the roof yeah that'll be the middle of the roof so again we're gonna go here go one here one on top one over one on top one over okay and in fact we're gonna go one more so one here one over on there one there one over break that one and then it's just a matter of joining them across so you go one two one two one two and one two okay and again we've got two stairs here so we're gonna go two 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 and two again we've got that curved stair so we're going to go one there just keep stepping it up and remember each time it's going to go one further over okay because you you're going in by one step so one two three four okay so just make sure you go four each time then we're going to just go our stairs across like this and join up to this side now this side can extend a little bit further because we've got the roof over here let's go ahead and join this one over here now because we had this peak here before what we can go ahead and do is just break this down a little bit just to here okay like that and then what we can do is bring our stairs into there we can go ahead and get our bricks and just finish up that bit of roof as if it was one piece so bring it across like so and then that way we can bring out dark stairs all the way across into it let's break that stair there so then that way it just blends into the roof a little bit nicer okay now again this side here guys it's just that you're going to be straight ones so we're just going to bring straight ones across here place one there and then four across like so upside down stair one two three four and then one more time one there one two three and four and that completes one side of the roof but this side here guys the pan is pretty much the same so i'm going to be blending into this side of the roof this time so i'm going to leave that corner piece for the moment and we're going to start from here so we've got a corner stair here so let's place one there one up one over one up one over one up one over okay again here one there one up one over one up one over one up one over and again for this one one there one up and over one up and over one up and over okay and again we're gonna go one two one two one two one two this one here the same again just keep going up adding two making sure that they're turning down this sideways at the very end here we're gonna go one two three one two three one two three one two and three and then of course underneath this lip here make sure you go ahead and put your upside down stairs put an upside down stair in the center there then you're just going to grab your dark oak planks and in the gap at the top of the roof here just go ahead and fill all of that up with your planks Now, in the corner here, guys, it's just going to be connecting all the way into this roof. So just place three, uh, four blocks across here. Then we're going to go one stair there, put one there, break that one. One there, one there, break that one. One there, one there, break that one. So we're just stepping it up on this corner here. 
And then it's just a matter of joining these stairs over to this one here. This one to here and then this one over to here. And I'm just going to break these ones in the roof here just so that it looks like it joins in a little bit nicer. And then finally on the very top guys where we've got these four blocks in the center we're going to place some slabs. And then come over slabs, slabs, slabs. Once we get to this corner here I'm going to just do that with a normal stair, upside down stair right there. And then for this little bit here, I'm just going to basically repeat the pattern. So just bring the oak log all the way up in the center. Then place two oak logs in there. Two oak logs in there. Grab your spruce logs or the strip spruce logs. Bring them down. One in that corner. Three in there and one in there. Like I said, this flat wall here, we're going to be joining to it later on. So don't worry too much about that for the moment. Okay, right, let's start adding in a couple of details here. And this is just going to be some simple details. So get some stone bricks and some stone, uh, some stone, stone bricks, even polished andesite. It's entirely up to you. And what you want to just do is just vary up some of your blocks on the ground here. So where you've got your cobblestone, just mix in a few variations of blocks. You haven't got to go too crazy with this. Just a few, something like this. Be sure to scatter them about the best you can something like that then you can also go ahead like i said add in maybe a couple of bricks and again don't go too crazy you just want to add in a few now what i like doing on these corners here i like to break the whole corner here and actually add stone bricks on the full corner just gives it a bit more support same as this one over here and it just looks pretty good and Overall, guys, I don't look too bad. Let's just add in a few more stone bricks. Maybe something like that. One up there, maybe. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty good. So, go ahead. Just do that all the way around as well. Just scatter in a few. Again, just be careful you don't overdo it with the stone bricks because we've already got a few stone bricks already sitting on the corners here. So, don't overdo the stone bricks. Alright guys, now that we've done that, just a last few details. So let's go ahead and put some spruce fences in the corner there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to place them in front of all of these logs that stick up like this. Raising it from the bottom here, all the way so it touches the little roof edge. Do that on this side and also on the back. Once you've got that all in place guys, go ahead and add two oak trapdoors at the side of each window, okay? And keep it to the left hand side like this, so you're sitting on the spruce, the spruce wood there. Just do that on this side here, like so. Do it round the back as well, so again you're going to do the same thing, this time we're going to go on to the opposite side. There we go, and that's looking pretty good. Now go ahead, get your lanterns. And I'd skip the first one, place one in the middle of this one above the window, and one in the middle of this one above the window. We don't want to place too many so that it looks too cluttered with lanterns. Um, but we're going to go ahead on this side, and we're going to place one in the middle of that one, one in the middle for that one. Now, down here by the door at the front, I think we're going to go ahead, place a fence post there and a fence post there. And then we can stick a lantern just underneath it like this. I think that looks pretty good. You can also go ahead if you wanted to. Uh, if you want to do it different, you could go ahead and get yourself some dark oak, trap, uh, dark oak planks. Replace these in the corner here. Like that. And then put your lanterns higher up. If you prefer. It depends how you prefer the look of it. And then we're going to get our spruce trapdoors, place two at each side of the window like this. Um, also on this one here. Again, do the same around the back here. So go on this side this time. And then this side. At the back here as well, if you wanted to, you could get yourself a dark oak slab and put in a little window ledge, something like that. If you wanted, you could put a flower pot on there as well. Maybe a flower pot with some flowers in it. And then what we're going to do is round the top edge here. Because now we've got that little lip. We're going to go ahead and just get in some, um, some bushes or some leaves. So for here, guys, 
there's no need to go too crazy i would literally just put two across like this maybe dangle a couple down like so um you can even dangle one down on the corner try and make it look quite natural so don't have them all hang into the same height um and just make a few spaces here and there when you can't sort of fit them all in perfectly i think maybe that might work again here something like that over here we're going to bring it into there let's place one there maybe even a couple down here there's one in that corner yeah something a bit like that and then just as a final little bit of detail what i would do is get yourself some cool dirt or just some normal dirt it doesn't matter get yourself your spruce trap doors and then in this corner over here i would go ahead and go one two three like this place trap doors at that side and that side and then uh, close them up and then that way what you can do is you can put some leaves coming down and round maybe something like that yeah that looks pretty good and then you can just go ahead and put in a flower there get your flower pots out place maybe one here um you can go ahead and place one there um you know just dot them around and then just put some flowers in something like that you can even dot them onto here as well if you really wanted i think it works pretty well all right guys and that just about wraps up this tutorial now as you can see i've added in a little bit of detail we've got the flower pots in there we've also got the little um note blocks down the side here you could also use barrels as well and just be sure that whatever you do on the front here, you go ahead and do something similar on the back as well to add some details at the back of the build. But overall, guys, I think this one is looking really cool. I absolutely love the way it's turned out. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.